Hey guys, it's me, Christian Ray. Look, I know that you guys think that this is total scam. This doesn't work. Like when you watch my video, when I do a Breathe Right strip on my forehead, like to get rid of the wrinkle right here. Do I use it all the time? No. Should I use it all the time? Yes. Did I used to use it all the time? Yes. Did it work? Yes. Like if you guys have a severe wrinkle, look, you guys see I have an 11 between my eyes. If you guys have a severe wrinkle right there between your eyes, I'm not kidding. I'm not joking. This is not like, like, uh, I don't know, um, a sponsored video for breathe right strips and nothing like that. This stuff actually works to get rid of that stupid wrinkle. Why? Because it has a plastic in the middle of it that stops your face from doing that. You cannot do that. It like prevents and the sticky adhesive is supposed to go on your skin. So you guys don't have to worry because I know I originally did one on duct tape. I'll show you a clip really quick. So check it out. Can I wrinkle my forehead? Okay, like you guys can see I'm really trying to wrinkle my forehead. But it doesn't wrinkle because I have that reinforcement right there. And I know it looks really funny. Um, but you will be quite aware as you're sleeping that you have something on your forehead this large. Yeah, I did that on duct tape. And you guys, the biggest concern was like, oh, but the adhesive from the duct tape is toxic for the skin. So I had to figure out, I had to brainstorm and think of a way to stop this muscle from, from contracting when you sleep or when you're around the house. You know, I figured it out. Okay, guys. I'm going to post all the information down below about this, these Breathe Right strips. I'm going to find other Breathe Right strips that I know uh, are, you know, not maybe not as expensive as this because this is a method you could do at home to get rid of that stupid wrinkle between your eyes. Does it work? Yes, it does. You guys, like, I know that there's a lot of skeptical people out there that are like, this is so BS, blah, blah, blah. Please, I'm gonna post. I'm gonna post the link to the video that I did, the original video I did with these Breathe Right strips. Check it out, please. It's gonna be posted down below. Check it out. Read the comments of people who have actually tried it. This stuff actually works. And I'm gonna re-record this video and show you guys how I did it. Re-record that video and show you guys how I did it. Please leave me a comment down below. We're all in quarantine right now. What are you? Who are you impressing? I'm walking around in my pajamas like 95% of the time. Okay, so walk around with a Breathe Right strip between your eyes. Like go back to work in a month looking like you got Botox, but you didn't. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and just jump on over to that video. But before we get there, come on, guys, leave me a comment. Tell me something. Let's communicate. Let's talk. I'm going crazy here talking to my husband and my daughter 24-7. I need some other people in my life. And I know you guys are watching, so, you know, Let's have a conversation in the comment section and roll on over to that video right now. Okay, guys, let's get straight to it. We have the Breathe Right strips. Right here, we have two Breathe Right strips. We're going to open it up, and I'm going to show you guys how to put it on your forehead right here to get rid of that wrinkle. So, you guys can see, just open it up. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to not take off the tape, and you're going to put it right here where that wrinkle is, right smack dab in the middle of that wrinkle and measure because obviously I cannot stick it like this. I have stuck it like this before and it will rip off your eyebrows. So we're gonna go ahead and get some scissors and we're going to cut it. So we're just gonna cut it straight up like this and then we're gonna take the other side and cut it the same way. Now you can see I have this shape. Will it fit? Nope, you guys can see it will take off my corners right there. So I need to make the bottom smaller. So we're just gonna cut into it a little bit more. So I have this shape, right? And if I put it right there, it will not touch my eyebrows. So now I'm gonna take off the back of it, check it out. And we're gonna put it right down but I'm just gonna pull the skin a little bit tight so that this wrinkle will come up or it will be flat and that this tape will adhere in the middle of that wrinkle. Because if I put it on right now, the tape is not gonna sink down and get the middle skin right here. So I need to pull it a little flat so it adheres to it. So we're just gonna, it's hard to do this without looking in a mirror, but we're gonna attempt it anyways. So you guys can see right here. So I'm pulling it and pushing it. 
and this is super, super sticky. Right? Now, if I try to frown, you guys can see, like, it does not allow me to frown, right? Because it's super hard. But some people have issues with wrinkles coming up here. So what you do is you take another one. I'm not even going to have to cut this one because it's not going to touch on any hair. And I'm going to put it, I'm going to attach it to this one on the bottom like that. So they're touching. Now check it out. Now I'm going to try to wrinkle my forehead. Look. So it doesn't allow anything. I can even put it up here for this line or these lines over here. Over here, you cannot put it. You know, a lot of people try to put it right here, but it's very uncomfortable. And that plastic, especially if you sleep, will pinch you right here. It does not do it on the forehead. This is only for the forehead. I figured out another way to help with this and these and everything else. I'll show you guys that in another video, video in a future video. And go this way. There you go. You look how that line just kind of plopped up. Okay. Okay, so we're going to also do it with these lines because I hate these lines. They look like those puppets with the mouth with the lines right there. I don't know. I've gained a lot of weight and I need that. Actually, even when I was like more slender, I started noticing these lines more and more. And then if you look at a picture of my mom, I'll show you a picture right now she has those lines so maybe it's just kind of hereditary so okay remember we'll get the tape i'm gonna do the same thing so i'm just gonna pull it and then tape it up but this is how you make this one now how do you remove it check it out and look it is on here like super tight super super tight so when you remove it you just grab it together like that where they're connected and it comes off like one piece so I wanted to take you guys in different lighting. No, there's not a filter on my phone at all. Look at this. Look at my forehead. Don't I look so much younger? No, I have no makeup on. No, I have no nothing. Let's get close. Look at that wrinkle. Wrinkle looks darn good. Look at the other parts of my forehead. Wow. Okay, guys, I thought I would turn on the camera real quick because I want to explain to you how my forehead feels it feels like okay so i've never gotten botox before ever but i've heard people that say when they get botox like it feels like it's tight because it like stiffens almost like you can't move the muscle it's kind of how my forehead feels right now i feel like even though i just did that i feel like um i'm very aware to not wrinkle my forehead like i feel like the muscle here right here is like because i guess because we disabled it during the night like this pulling it that i feel like i don't want to move it or almost feel like it doesn't want to move like it normally does and i think just my opinion but i think that um we stopped it from moving for so long and it's normally over overreacting when i sleep especially that we stopped it from moving for so long that it almost like made it um like Botox, like numb, not numb, but not movable. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy because I can wrinkle my forehead. I can move it around, but I almost feel like I don't want to and the muscle doesn't want to. I don't know. It sounds weird. Maybe I have paralysis on my forehead, which would be good because I would be wrinkleless. <laughs> So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know this works. Um, I appreciate everybody watching and sharing my video. Uh, you know, just try it. Try it for yourself. Like order one, ask grandma, ask, not grandma. Yeah, ask grandma, ask somebody to, to mail you a Breathe Right strip if you don't believe me, two of them to be exact, if you want to take it higher like what I did. Mail it, you know, when it comes in the mail, sanitize it when it... <laughs> And try it. It really does work. I'll post the links to Amazon because Amazon, you know, I don't ever have issues posting from Amazon. Like I, I don't ever, I don't ever question Amazon's policy, you know, because like I know that if I don't like it or the box is damaged or whatever, they're going to refund my money. You know, they're a company that I trust putting my credit card information in. So all the links down below will be Amazon links. Um, and that's it. I hope you guys give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment so we can talk and um, share it with a friend. Oh, subscribe. Hit that little subscribe button. That would help a lot, you know? Anyways, I, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate everybody watching. 
Um, please stay safe. Stay away from everybody. Stay inside. Do it for our country. Let's go ahead and just jump on over to that quote of the day. I love you all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Christina Marie. I'm out. Bye.